this is the Amazon. I also feel like I feel like I'm about to drop it. This is the Amazon um, Kindle Scribe. It's really I've had it for about three weeks now or two and a half weeks, and I'm really really in love with it. It just ha it just allowed me to have everything in one central location. It's an amazing stuff, and I'm like, man, this is. This is really great. Whether you're in IT, you want something that allows you to be able to take notes and and, and be able to buy books that you can read um, to get ready for your exams, that kind of thing. Like, I definitely got to talk about this because I do want to start doing a little bit more review on the channel as well. Kind of review different different things as well. It is a tech channel after all. <laughs> so, so today we're going to talk about this guy. We're going to talk about uh, the review is going to be divided into three parts. The first part, we're going to talk about the physical aspect to, of it. Second part, we're going to talk about the e-reader aspect of it. And then the third part, we're going to talk about the note taking aspect of it. So let's go ahead and let's dive into the review. So let's go. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the device in a little bit more detail. The first part that we're going to talk about is the physical aspect of the device. So there's two things that you're going to notice about this device is that number one is very thin. So as you can see, it's extremely thin, which makes it easier to carry around. But if you don't have a case, it also makes it, <laughs> it also makes it feel like it's easy to kind of slip and fall. Um, but it's very thin. I like that aspect of it. Uh, and it just um, makes it easy to carry around. And it's very light too. It's not extremely light, but it, it has some weight to it, but it's light enough for you to not really notice it if you have it in your hand. Um, the only time I notice extra weight is when I have it in the case because the case in itself is a little bit heavy. But the device itself is very light um, and then very thin. Um, there's only one button on it, and this is the button on the side here. This is pretty much the button that you use to kind of wake up the device or put it to sleep if you want to or restart the device because you can press it down and hold it for a couple of seconds and the device uh, will be restarted uh, and then there's a usb type c connector right there to charge the device itself but apart from that you don't have any other button on the device that's the only button or the only port that you have on the device um, but from that there's nothing else as um on the front of the device the screen is pretty wide it's really nice um, it's easy to read um, yeah, but there's some borders, so you have a border going around the front of the screen. Um, it's a little bit thicker on this side here. And the border is a little bit thick on this side here and it goes a little bit further in. Uh, but on the other side here is very thin. It's not very thin, but it's thinner than this side, of course, which um, allows you to have a little bit more reading space. Um, so it makes it very nice and uh, very easy to read on. Uh, so as far as the physical device, and of course you have the Amazon logo on the back of it because, well, it's a uh, Amazon uh, scribe, right? <laughs> it's the Amazon Kindle scribe. You need to know that for sure. Uh, it does have the Amazon logo on the back of it. Pretty clean, pretty nice device, and that's one of the things that I love about it. Stylus is really nice. Uh, I say it has one button on it as well, and this is this guy right here. Um, this guy can be mapped to different things. And also it has that eraser feel. So if you've ever written with a pencil before, <laughs> I know you've written with a pencil before. So you know when a pencil, a pencil has an eraser, it kind of has that same kind of feel to it. There's kind of like this eraser um, stuff there, which it kind of mimic the feel of an eraser as well, because when you press it, it goes down almost similar to, similar, similarly to when you're using an eraser, when you're pressing down on it, you have that kind of soft push. Um, to it does kind of um, give you that soft push as well when you are racing something and it's really nice um, On the front of course you have this guy right here. This is what you write with and um, as far as the stylus go um, That's pretty much all you get for it something very simple and straightforward um, And of course it has the Amazon logo on it. So as far as the physical device go, that's pretty much it You have a very simple device very thin very light with a stylus that stick to the side of it. Actually, before we move on to the second part, which is talking about the e-reader, um, let's first talk about some of the settings on the device. So um, when you turn on the device, it will look something like this. Um, it's pretty nice. It has a home screen and at the bottom, you have the home, the library, the notebook, and then you have more, which gives you like more settings and things like that. If you click on library, it tells you some of the books that you have in your library. 
uh, and then you can use your finger or you can use the stylus to kind of navigate around as well, right? So if you're reading something, you just really want to use your finger. You can always use your finger to kind of just move things around or you can use the stylus. So you have the notebooks that carries all of your notes and in your notes, of course, you can create folders and stuff like that. We'll talk about that a little bit more. And then of course you have things like more, which gives you more settings and stuff like that. So first let's talk about the device itself. So if you click on the, the top drop down there, you have brightness, you can increase the brightness level here. If you want to, you can increase uh, the warmth of the device. So to make it a little bit warmer, to make it look a little bit warmer, a little bit colder, that kind of thing. Depending on your preference, you can arrange it. Um, you have all the settings, you have the all settings, you have the sync settings, you have the dark mode settings, you can turn that off or on. I mostly keep it on dark mode all the time because I used to hate dark mode, but <laughs> now on this device it just looks so good so I keep it on dark mode all the time. So you can turn on dark mode. Oh, another thing that you should keep in mind as well is that the reaction time on the on, on, on an e-ink device or e-reader, it's a little bit slower. So on an iPad, if you have an iPad and things like that, when you press something, it moves a lot, it moves as soon as you press it. But on an e-ink device or, um, or e-reader, when you press it, it's a, there's a little bit of lag time there. So if you're not used to it, that's something to keep in mind. It just lags a little bit and it makes it a little bit like, if you're not used to it, it just drives you a little bit crazy until you get used to it. <laughs> Cause we're also used to moving things like go, 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 go. So something to keep in mind but on the top you have the settings and you can change different different settings there uh, and then if you go to uh, more settings um, you can connect Bluetooth as well um, one thing to keep in mind so if you have Bluetooth you can connect it to things like your TV um, you can connect it to things like your headset you can connect it to different Bluetooth device because you can listen to audio book on this device too as well so uh, if you go to more settings you have your reading list you have good reads which I don't have you have the web browser. Um, I definitely didn't get this device for the web browser because the web browser is horrible. If you get in the device for web browsing, don't do it. Because <laughs> this device is not for web browsing at all. It's horrible when it comes to web browsing. But that's not the reason why I got it. I really got it for the book aspect and for the note taking aspect. I didn't get it for web browsing. So if you definitely want to get it for web browsing, don't do it. It's not worth it unless you're someone that likes to struggle when you browse on the web, then definitely get it. <laughs> but if you don't, then definitely don't get it because it's not, uh, web browsing is not a go. So you go to settings, um, and in settings, you have different, different settings. You can th see things like your accounts. Uh, you can see things like your accounts, the household and family, your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, Bluetooth, you can connect to it, device option, and then the pen, like we I talked about earlier. So if you click on the pen, then you can click on pen shortcuts. Uh, you can see it right there. And then there you can map this little guy right here, this little button to do different things. So you can map it to highlight, you can map it to um, erase, you can map it for sticky notes. So you can map it so when you press this guy right here, when you're doing something, um, whatever you map it to is what's going to happen. So if you map it to say, I wanna be able to take a sticky notes when I press it and I'm reading something and I highlight something, you should be able to do that with the press of this button. So you can map it to the different, different things. So if you go back, um, go back one more. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all. You have the language, um, accessibility, parental control, and of course the user guide. So as far as the settings go, uh, that's pretty much all you get. And of course on the top right hand corner, you have the battery. I haven't charged it since I got it. And it's been like two and a half weeks, three weeks, I think. Just I can't remember how long I've got it. <laughs> I mean, I've been using it a lot though, so I can't remember when I even got it. Um, but yeah, I haven't charged it since I got it. The battery life is actually pretty good. Uh, it's at 52% and I haven't charged it at all. So I feel like it's gonna go a little bit more. I feel like you can go a whole month without having to charge this thing, probably. <laughs> but I haven't I haven't charged it at all, so that's, that's a good news there. Um, it's definitely a plus, because sometimes you don't want to charge things at all. So definitely uh, appreciate that. Um, one of the main reasons um, why I decided to get the Kindle is because of the amazing list of books that Amazon have. So I pretty much buy all of my physical books from Amazon, right? And 99.9% um, .9 of the time when I'm buying the book, it says, oh, you can buy the Kindle version of it. And the Kindle version is always cheaper. <laughs> so I'm like, 
Oh, okay, well, see you later. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's a well appreciated uh, discount that I'm starting to enjoy. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's one of the reasons why I decided to get it because you have access to this being an Amazon device, you have access to pretty much Audible, which is amazing. Again, you can connect it to Bluetooth and be able to listen to things. You have um, a list of all of their books that uh, pretty much in the Amazon store, right? So the Amazon bookstore. Right, it's all in here, you can search for it, you should be able to find it if it's available, if the Kindle version of that book is available, boom, you can download it and read it. I love it and that's one of the reasons why I got it. So if you go to your home, you can see a whole bunch of books. You can click on the little um, card icon up here and then you can search for specific books. So you can search for things like you see, my stuff is pretty much just dominated by IT related stuff. <laughs> so you can search for things like the Linux command line um, or Linux basic for hacking and all that stuff. So you can search for like different, different books and then you will have like a list of books that you can download and then read and then pay for. It's just amazing. And that's one of the reasons I didn't choose the Remarkable because I wanted something that's the best of both worlds, right? Where I'm able to find something that I want to read and download it and this being an Amazon device just makes it so much easier. So let's go ahead and look at some of the future for the e-reading aspect of things. So uh, I'm gonna X out of this real quick, uh, scroll on down. And a book that I'm reading right now is this guy. This guy is called A Time Management for System Admin. It's the book I'm reading uh, 30 minutes, one hour before going to bed. We need time management. <laughs> so much to do, so much, so much to do. Uh, anyways, so click on that book. So it looks like this again, it's in dark mode. It makes it easier for me to read and understand. And I love it. It's just, it just, it makes it so easy to read. Like, even if you're someone that's not like reading, it just like, I mean, it just makes it easy. And you can increase the size of it by kind of doing the pinch thing. So if you pinch it, it if you pinch it, it decreases the size and you can have more read. Uh, more things to read, but and but the writing will be very small, of course. And then if you do that, it expand the view of it, and you can make it as big as you want. It makes it easier for anybody, even if you have a bad eyesight. I mean, literally, look. You can let's keep going. Let's keep going. So you can look. You can look something like that. Yeah, <laughs> so that's huge. So <laughs> even if you want to read like that, you should be able to read like that, and it just makes it so much more easier to do that. Um, some of the features that we need to talk about. So if you click on the device itself, on the top of it, you have things where you can check some of your bookmarks, you can check some of the things that you've noted on and you can, like you've taken the sticky notes on. Um, you can check uh, things like, um, like things that you've highlighted. You can search for specific things. So you can do a bunch of whole bunch of things in here on the top end and you can also click here to go home if you want to go home as well. So uh, on the side right here, and this is something that you can move so you can click on it and then you can uh, move to the right if you want to or move it to the left. So if you click on that, it moves it to the right. And if you click on that, it moves it back to the left. And you can do things like highlight. So if you kind of just hold down the pen itself, it allows you to highlight specific things. Then you can highlight specific things. You can do things like note, so you can click on the note icon and be able to take like sticky notes. You can take like physical notes or you can switch it over to being able to use the keyboard and stuff itself to be able to type. So it gives you a whole bunch of options in terms of like taking notes and things like that and doing all of the stuff that you want to do. And it just, it just makes it so much more easier for you to be able to have a book when um, I read a book and be able to just take notes on specific things and can I choose the style of the pen that you want as well? So if you want something like this, you can just highlight the pen and you can make it, you know, fine, thin, medium, thick, or heavy. You can choose the version of pen that you want. You can erase it, of course, use the eraser to erase your notes and things like that. Um, you can use this guy to be able to highlight. So you can highlight specific things after taking notes and all that stuff. So just mean then you can undo and then redo and all that stuff. So it just, it, it makes it easier for you to be able to like do the things that you need to do. Um, and then you can choose, this is different eraser, and then you can choose the highlights and things like that. It makes it easier for you to do the things that you need to do. And it just allows you to be able to have this one central place where you read something and you have a whole bunch of feature in terms of like 
you know, highlighting things, taking notes, um, you know, looking at dictionary. I forgot about that. I almost forgot about that. So you can always just click on a word. For example, if you click on a word, it gives you the definition of that word. Of course, I have to choose <laughs> your you all got to listen to me. <laughs> no, you can choose any word. And if you don't fully understand that particular word, it will give you the definition of that word, which is really good. It will also help increase your vocabulary as well. Um, for someone um, where English is not really my native language and things like that. I've been in the US for a while, but still English is not my native language. Um, it just kind of allows you to build your vocabulary and makes things a little bit more easier. Um, in terms of like being able to take notes, read, and just, yeah, dive in the books. So as far as that feature goes, that's pretty much most of the things that you get for the book, um, the e-reader part of things, and I love it. I love the fact that I have like a, like a crazy amount of books that I can choose from. I love the fact that I can highlight, take notes, do a whole bunch of stuff, being able to have a dictionary in the, the stuff while I'm reading, so I don't have to go outside and look for that word and stuff like that. It's amazing. I love that aspect of it. And um, yeah, it makes my life a little bit okay, more Okay, so the so last part that I wanna talk about because I do not want to make this video too long because <laughs> I can talk about this device for days is the notebook part of things. So oh, this is great. I love this because this is one of the reasons why I got it because as I said earlier, um, I got it because of the notebook. Um, because of both things, of course, but having that physical aspect where you physically write things down it's superb. I can I can um, I can enjoy it enough. <laughs> it's been great. So for the notebook part of things, you can click on the thing here. You can create a folder. Uh, so I'm just gonna call this. Actually, let's just call it folder one. Um, you can create a folder. You click on create folder. It allows you to create a folder, and in that folder, you can store um, um, different notes, different things that you want to store. So you can arrange your notes by folders, and then in that folders, you can store whatever note that you want to store so once you do that you can click on here and you can click on create notes and there you have different different style of templates that you can choose in terms of like the page template so you can choose things like this um, it is grayed out it's not it's kind of weird because i feel like it's so grayed out that it just makes it hard to see a little bit um, but you can go through it. So if you want a to-do list, you can just select a to-do list. If you want something like anything that you want, it's not an extensive amount because I was looking at a review for the Remarkable and it seems as if the Remarkable has like an extensive amount of template that you can choose from. And this is not an extensive amount, um, but it still allows you to kind of just be able to choose um, a simple template and be able to start taking notes on the things that you want to take note on. So if you click on something like, let's say a to-do list or the checklist, like a checkbox. So you have something like this that allows you to just take any single note that you want to take, right? Um, you write anything that you want to take, like my handwriting, it's beautiful and <laughs> it's just random stuff. <laughs> uh, you can take any note that you want to take and be able to <clears throat> be able to create a to-do list and I must say, I've been using this a lot um, at work, first thing in the morning when I go. I used to uh, use, I still use Evernote, of course, but I used to use Evernote for my to-do list, but now I have desk on my desk in the morning when I go to work, and I just have all of my to-do list there, and I just check um, as the day goes on and just make it, it has made my life a little bit more easier in terms of like not having to switch back and forth, right? I do use Evernote extensively when I'm at work because I keep all of my notes there, but not having to switch tabs and all that stuff. It just, this is in front of me. I'm able to check things and it's a constant reminder as to the things that I need to do as well. So it's been great for that alone. I've enjoyed it, right? And then of course here you can choose, um, same as the sticky note that we looked at on the here a part of things. You can choose what type of pen you want. So you can choose something like fine pen and then you can choose thin and you can choose uh, medium or thick or heavy and it has different, different ones. Um, on the Remarkable, I heard that it's a little bit uh, much more better in terms of note taking because you can press on something and it gets heavier and as you decrease the amount of uh, pressure that you put on it, it gets lighter, that kind of thing. But it doesn't do it here on the, um, doesn't do it on the, on the, 
on the Amazon scribe. I almost forgot the name there. It doesn't do it on the Amazon scribe. Uh, if you choose thick, you're gonna get thick no matter the amount of pressure that you apply on the pen or the amount of pressure that you don't apply on the pen on the stylus. Um, you get the same thing. You don't get something different. Um, of course, you can go here, highlights. You can choose different version of highlights. You want it to be thick, you want it to be thin. So very similar. So you want it to be thin. And then once you take a note, you can highlight different things um, as you go along. And of course, erasing. You can do different type of erasing and things like that. Um, you can do stuff like that to erase. Uh, and then you can choose, of course, uh, different different type of things that you want to erase so if you're writing something a little bit thin then you can be like oh let me just use the thin or the fine to do the erasing and you can get a little bit more granular when it comes to erasing things right or you can do erase select the section where like you just do that and then select the whole section and erase that section or you can say erase the whole page and then just cleans up the whole page for you right um then you have something like this which allows you to do something like that so this is something that you can actually do with your finger as well. So you don't necessarily need to do it with the stylus, but if you click on it, it gives you that finger feature instead of the writing. So you're able to click on the top and be able to go home and things like that. Because you have the undo, you have the redo. Again, this is nothing too complicated, right? It's not like it's extremely complicated because I heard the Remarkable is just so much better because you can do things like write and then be able to move something from the top to the bottom if you want to rearrange things. But you can't do that in the, on the Amazon uh, Scribe, on the uh, Kindle Scribe, Amazon Scribe. <laughs> I'm struggling with the, the name of this device today. You can't do that on the Kindle Scribe. Um, but one of the reasons why I also got it is because Amazon is promising um, a whole bunch of stuff coming for this one, right? Like a whole bunch of new features that they're gonna add to it. Um, maybe let me not say a whole bunch, but they promising that they're gonna release a bunch, like a, a series of new features that's gonna allow you to do a lot of new things. I'm excited about that to try to see what they come out with and some of the things that they're gonna implement. I'm excited about that. It just makes it a little bit easier for me to say, okay, let me see what else they can come up with. And for now, what they have going on here, just it, it's perfect for me. I don't need an extra amount of like note taking things and stuff like that. Um, it's just the best of both worlds. It allows me to be able to read from this guy and it allows me to be able to take notes and it has exactly what I need at this time. Again, I say, if you are someone that just wants to have something that allows you to take an extensive amount of notes, like very sophisticated notes, right? Maybe this might not be for you, but if you're someone that just wants to be able to just take notes and be able to have that writing, handwriting feeling and things like that, and something very simple, then this guy might definitely be for you. So as far as like the features and things like that go on um, when taking notes, that's pretty much all you get for it, right? Very simple, very straightforward. You can do a whole bunch of things to it. And then the feel to it when you're writing, it feels so good. <laughs> it feels like a real, <laughs> real, like the, the sound of it, like the sound of it. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Let me see. Hear it? The sounds of it, the sound of it feels like a real paper, like that scratch it feels like real paper. And it just, it just sounds great. It sounds amazing. I love the way it sounds and I, and I love the way it feels when you write in and it just feels great. And I look at my horrible handwriting on it and I'm like, not bad. <laughs> so I can't complain. I can't complain. So it's a, it's a great device. I love it. Um, I enjoy it. And I enjoy writing on it. I enjoy taking notes on it. I've been using it extensively in terms of like taking notes even for the exam that I'm studying for. Right? It just makes it so easier to be able to take note on it and have the book in this device and be able to go back and forth to take note of it. One of the things that I do want to note, um, note, like notebook, <laughs> lame joke. <laughs> One of the things that I do, no pun intended, one of the things that I do want to talk about is the search feature. So um, some of the things to keep in mind is that you can search for things inside the, the note. So if you are writing something inside the note, like let's say it's like John is a boy or Paul, Paul is trying to make this YouTube video. <laughs> right. uh, if you search for Paul, right, not unless the title of the, the note itself is Paul or the title of the folder itself is Paul, um, the Kindle, the, the Kindle scribe doesn't search inside the notes, right? So 
that can be a bit, bit of a headache, right? It can be a bit of a headache because sometimes you want to search for things and you don't have them in the title uh, and you want to search, search for things like you take a note, you take notes and you want to search for things inside a note. Um, the Kindle scribe is not able to do that. Um, I hope they release something like that where it's able to search um, inside the notes itself, which will make, which will make it a little bit more, um, a little bit more valuable because it just allows you to take notes free-handedly without having to worry about the title. Well, of course, worry about the title because you need to organize your notes, but without having to worry that I have to put what I need to search for in the title for me to be able to find it when I search in the Kindle. So that's something that I feel like I, should, I wanted to mention. If that's a big thing for you, then you definitely don't want to get this guy because it just doesn't search inside the notes. It does search, however, the title of your folders and your notes, but just not inside the notes. So as far as the Kindle go, that's pretty much all that I wanted to talk about for the Kindle. It's, it's a great device. I, I don't want to make the review video too long. Uh, it's a great device for someone that is in IT that has to always have, that, that always has things to do. And, and again, that's why I'm reading that book. <laughs> time management uh, for system admin because there's always so much to do. Um, it's a great device that has done to allow me to organize myself a little bit better. That allows me to have um, a huge list of books that I can read from and it allows me to be able to take my notes um, instead of having to buy um, physical things like this because I do enjoy the handwriting part of things because it allows me to remember things better. And this one allows me just dropping things over there. This one allows me to be able to take notes and um, do the things that I need to do and just have everything in one place. And it's funny because the book that I'm reading right now, Time Management for System Admin, talks about, um, I actually started reading this book. I didn't get this because of the book, but I started reading the book after I got this. And it talks about having that one central place where you manage everything, right? Um, you have a one PDA where you manage everything and it just makes your life a little bit more easier. And I must say, love with the Kindle. I, I love it, I enjoy it, and I love the case too. It makes it easier. I use it for pretty much everything now, and it's just, it's just been amazing since I got it. So that's my review of the Kindle. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you've liked the video. Um, if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and thumbs up. If you do want to see more videos like this, turn on your notification. I'm gonna be doing more review videos. I talk about my IT journey. I talk about different, different things. Uh, life gets busy sometimes. I'm not able to make um, videos back to back, but I try to post as much as I can. So if you enjoy content like this, subscribe, turn on your notification, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.